Hello YouTube, it's early Saturday morning here, the 12th of February 2022, and I've got Blender open here because I'm going to show all you Siren modelers out there on Roblox how to do a Roblox friendly screen mesh for a Siren like this WPS 3016 horn here that I've just modeled. Now usually when you guys, when I've seen you guys do when you model a horn. I'll kind of show you what you guys... I'll show you how I've seen it done. So I'm going to rotate this along the x-axis. I'll scale it up so that it fills in here. And that's actually pulled out a little bit so it's not going to be interfering. Okay, there we go. And then you guys will just like subdivide this like a billion times. Like we'll go 60 here. And then what I've seen you guys do. Let me think here for a second because it's been, a, I've only done this a couple times. Do, 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 do. Actually, I got to go to face mode here. Poke faces. And then I have to convert tries to quads. And that gives me my screen mesh. And then come over here to your modifiers. Add a wireframe. Go back into object mode so that I can actually see it. And you guys will do something like this. And I'll apply it. I'll take the one that I made off. So there's your screen mesh. But as you can see, it's 152,566 uh, polygons. So that's not exactly going to be uh, something that you can easily import to Roblox unless you split it apart. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete this. I'm going to start over with a new screen here. And now this is what I did, and this is what I figured out. We're not going to scale it up to fit the horn, but we're just going to scale it like so. I'll go to x-ray mode here so that you can see the horn behind it. And then I'm going to rotate it. Actually, i got to do 45. And then I'll go back another... i got to go back 15. I should have just done 30 instead. So that's one little boo-boo on my part. So I'll go back to edit mode. And I'll just select these two edges here. And then I'll subdivide these like a crap ton of times. And then I am going to duplicate this. And then I will rotate this so that it lines up. And I think i got to do 60. Actually, I think I gotta do 80 or 70. But I think you can see where I'm going with this here. I'm not gonna be overly concerned about the. Uh, I'm just gonna do. I'm just gonna be. I'm just gonna do this crudely here. Since this is just a demonstration here. Okay, so I've got that rotated so it's roughly in the form that it needs to be. Okay, do 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 do. And actually, I don't have to join those because I did that in edit mode, so they're already joined. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back and I'm going to add my wireframe. Actually, let me get out of x-ray mode here so that you can see it. There we go. That's looking pretty nice. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a cube. Scale it along the z-axis. Scale it along the x-axis. So that it just kind of fits the inside profile of the, uh, of the horn holder. I'll scale it just a little bit more. Like this. 
So you see that I've got this cube going through there. Now I think you kind of get an idea of where I'm going to go with this here. So go back to edit mode. There we go. Actually, I keep hitting the wrong key. Doot, doot, do. Oh, wait. I need to extrude those. Nope. Wrong key again. Extrude. There we go. So now I'm going to go into face mode. I'm going to punch these two faces out. I'm going to temporarily get rid of my screen so that I can see what I'm going to do and I'm going to fill in these two f I'm going to fill in these four faces here. I'm going to bring my screen back in. There's my screen. I'm going to select that. Actually, let me apply this. And then I'm going to go to Boolean, Difference, and I'm going to select this cube. And it did something goofy there. What did it do? Oh yeah, it's doing that because for some reason it is going right through that edge. Let's try... Uh, no, wait a second here. Uh, let me do Fast. Okay, Fast seems to... Okay, Fast is going to work, so I'm going to hit Apply. Then I'm going to delete the cube, and there's our screen. And if I hit tab, there you see your polygon count, 1,030 instead of 156,000. And so that's just kind of one little trick that I wanted to show you all. Please like this comment, or please like this video, and please comment and please subscribe. Thanks for watching.